The U.S.-Iran showdown comes during a time of celebration here in Israel of the one-year anniversary of the move of the U.S. Embassy from Tel Aviv to Jerusalem. U.S. diplomats, Israeli officials, and many evangelical Christian leaders gather to commemorate the move. One year later, many believe President Trump's decision marked a profound and prophetic moment for the U.S. and Israel. The Friends of Zion Museum hosted the event. Founder Mike Evans believes U.S. President Trump made an historic decision when he moved the embassy. I'm beyond excited because the president keeps exceeding our expectations. The Golan Heights recognition. And there's more to come. This president gets it. He's a moral clarity president. It's black or white. And that's it. Israeli Prime Minister Netanyahu says President Trump recognized the obvious. Nobody moves the embassy and nobody recognizes Jerusalem until someone comes who's politically incorrect, brash and unabashed, and one day out of the blue says, that's right, Jerusalem is Israel's capital and I recognize it. And that's what President Donald Trump did. Embassies belong in Jerusalem. And if you do it, you'll find a year later, it all comes into place. When the embassy opened on May 14, 2018, many predicted the Middle East would erupt. But U.S. Ambassador David Friedman says one year after the move, the Jerusalem embassy has become the new normal. What's special is how normal it's become. You know, we have two, three hundred people showing up every day. We do it with... Uh, you know, everybody in good spirits. Friedman announced he's now moved the ambassador's residence to Jerusalem. Well, first of course, is the legal significance that we've now fully complied with the Jerusalem Embassy Act and no one has to sign any more waivers, which was, I think, irritating uh, all of us for so many years. Uh, and of course, you know, Jerusalem is uh, where I work. It's where we should live. Netanyahu said a new Middle East is emerging. There is a new efflorescence, a new renaissance of relations between us and many of our Arab neighbors, and many non-Arab Muslim countries, many more than you can think. And it's true that we're united in uh, our desire to stop Iranian aggression. And I believe that Israel and all the countries of the region and all the countries who seek peace in the world should stand together with the United States against Iranian aggression. It's the golden age for the state of Israel. I'm meeting with Arab leaders who are saying, tell Bibi, thank you. Tell Bibi, I don't understand why he gets bad media. He's doing a great job. I'm seeing things in the Muslim world that are astonishing. We're, I believe Netanyahu's legacy will be peace with five to six Gulf. Perfect.